thing. It in fact does say you done a thing. Hooray! Hooray! Yes, this. Twitch, I want to watch my own stream. But do you want to watch your own dude. stream? Down check, one, two, three, numbers. Okay, sounds good on my end. <sighs> Couple of seconds delay, as usual. <clears throat> okay. Wonderful. Intro. Joe. Yes. That's me. Think. You think or you know who you are? <laughs> oh dear God! He's become the un. Um, well, from Joe Biden. Like Chief Firewater from Sausage Party again. The unperishable. The unperishable. <laughs> Hey man, that movie is pretty good. And I am your favorite fucking idiot. It's me, <laughs> Mario. <Donna. laughs> no, I'm not Mario. It's I'm a not me. A short, stubby, five foot tall Italian horny plumber. It's a me, Malaria. <laughs> Malaria. <laughs> and this episode of me screwing around in Warframe while talking with my friend Joe. Is a very special one indeed. It's brought to you by the letter F. F for farts. Farts, yes, the farts. That's not. Tasty, that's not why it's special farts. at all, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's not because of that at all. It's because I am expanding on a video I made about changing the infrastructure that I was inspired to talk about when I watched that video of We Are Top where he was pointing out a clip I showed of birds on power lines bursting into flames. That is correct. And yep. what we came to the conclusion of is that birds are stupid. Not just that, but we yeah. talked about many other things. <laughs> Key point here. <laughs> uh, I am not going to be able to keep a straight face. I can't find a fucking void fisher that's a survival I want to do while talking about this, so I guess I'll have to do a fucking defense. Um, Key point, back on track is the outdated infrastructure I pointed out with the power lines being suspended on poles that a slight breeze could move a tree limb on and cause a power outage and in the case of cable internet, an internet outage. And Joe pointed out squirrels. Take it away with the squirrels bit, Joe. Squirrels! They're stupid! Until reinforcements arrive. They eat the lines. I know this for a fact. They've done it multiple times. Literally. Where I live currently, in fact. I'm not even just saying that. You've watched them? Yes. Well, I said it. Did they They're... spaz out and burst into flames? No. But what they did do is they fell off the power line. Dead? Or in severe Maybe. shock? I, I couldn't tell you, I didn't check, but I watched it happen. <coughs> okay. But yes, they're dumb. So, birds who are stubborn and sit on the power lines and catch fire because they uh, bridge the circuit gaps, and yeah, they, they're stupid that way. And squirrels chewing the power lines and the weather patterns fucking with the power lines. And, and by extension, the cable communication lines. And every other fucking line that could possibly be up there. Exactly. All the lines. They all get Every line. <laughs> and, and in this... My idea to put it all in an underground conduit is something that 
Joe and I have talked about. And were we really talking about it that long? Yep. Damn, oh my, how the time flies by when I'm engaged in psychological masturbation that I find entertaining. Yep. Sometimes I say it you that don't. way as a reference to AVE, the Canadian YouTube genius. Yes, and sometimes he doesn't know how long he talks, or talks about one specific thing that is. But I have to. I'm really into it. I have to remind him that yes, it's been a few hours. So as anyway, I pointed out that recently the cable company has started burying the line. For the last few months, I've actually been telling them through when I've actually talked to them about outages and whatnot. That they should consider that. Putting it underground would solve a lot of those problems. And the thing they've come up with is an extremely cheap solution. When I was coming home with mom one day, I saw the workers out there just digging, and then they're putting the line literally in the ground, wrapped in uh, something. And that's not that much better from having them above on suspension because later on in a few years trees and grass roots are gonna grow into it and fuck it up even worse and it's just gonna be a new problem because they didn't do it properly that's so, true the idea I'm kicking around with Joe is building a conduit underground, under the road, preferably, <laughs> oh, God. that houses the power lines, the communication lines, and has compartmentalization for those as well as the water and gas lines because you're going to need it to be compartmentalized because if and when it's definitely going to be when the water lines break and they will, they'll age and break you don't want the water spraying all over the electric lines and the communication lines and the gas lines so having them appropriately compartmentalized is absolutely necessary in a properly built conduit that is made to withstand the seismic activity for certain areas and has a water drainage system for when the water pipes break and for the potential of when flooding occurs even with the design that we're kicking around to cycle that water that's leaking inside of it back to the water companies to be reprocessed yeah. and then it would have to be something you could walk around in carry the giant spools probably on a forklift down and drive through to set it all up properly with entrance points probably uh, with drive-in access for certain areas that don't have uh, certain flooding conditions as well as in other areas uh, Something like an elevator, a lift, in an enclosed building to go down into that's weatherproofed as much as possible. Yes. Uh -oh. Now, the structure would have to be made of... Yeah, it would have to have steel in its construction, definitely. It would have to be <clears throat> in layered 
types of materials that are resistant to and mitigate seismic activity as well as flooding from excessive rain so that it channels the water off the structure and outwards in a trapezoid shape where the road sits on top and you know the aqueous and the porous materials channel the water off of it that way it reduces the chance of flooding and this would have to be designed with i think it's called a french drain system it, it would run along both sides of it and drain the water off directionally and that would help a great deal yes probably would And then the other problems you pointed out. Remind me, I'm starting to lose track of moles. Uh, moles. Moles? What? What's, yeah. What with moles? If it's concrete and cement, moles aren't going to get into it that easily, are they? Oh, they could get in it though. Okay. Um, mold itself. Mold. Uh, yeah, mold. Mold is mitigated by. Let's see, I think it's UV lighting, so you have UV A, B, and C in there, it helps mitigate that. And basically, you don't have them running 24-7 to preserve the longevity and lifespan of Earth. Earthquakes, I said. Yeah, um, real civil engineer his YouTube channel, he pointed out a certain technique that they use where they stack uh, what is it, layers of dirt and a mesh-like material. And it, it, it actually increased the stability of the support that they were designing it as for bridges. Now I've seen this actually, what he's talking about, I've actually seen it locally where I live. It's actually mm. pretty cool. And then, in addition to that, they have bunker type of uh, layouts that have been shown publicly uh, for, well, it was nuclear bunkers, actually, where they have certain suspension systems that keep the interior that you walk around in stable and almost physically separated in a way from an outer shell. And you combine that with that uh, basically a tunnel in a tunnel approach, as it were, with the materials like sand that actually mitigates vibrations a good bit. And that'll help. Okay. At least in theory. I haven't actually tested it myself. That that's a good right theory. There. That there <laughs> is a game theory. No, that's a real life theory, dude. And that was a theory. A life theory. Yes. Yes, it was. Will we know the answer? I guess at some point. Well, all we have to do is wait for someone to actually say something as to the type of earth material that could actually help better than sand if sand doesn't work all that well. 
You there, but it is an educated guess on my part. It's a decent estimation. You there, listening to us currently. You are there, please. Give yeah, us your idea. Real civil engineer, Steve Mold. Hey, you guys do st shit like this. You think critically. You're new drawing? The fuck no! A fictional character. What the fuck is he Jake gonna do? Yeah, sure. Let's get Jake from State Farm. He's an insurance sales rep. What's he gonna do? Um, something. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear this one. Sales rep for insurance, probably. I'm He's gonna, gonna wear his khakis at it. Yeah. Okay. Jake from State Farm's gonna wear his khakis at it. Here we divulge from critical thinking into cracking a joke. Yeah, exactly. In life, you need jokes. <clears throat> yep. Absolutely. Anyways, back on subject. Having it underground, it'll solve the trees on the line problem. It'll solve the squirrels on chewing the line problem because they are rodents they will chew things I was surprised when Joe said that they did that to the power lines I thought they would be more I don't know or self aware of their surroundings more um inclined to preserve their lives instead of risking frying themselves by chewing electrical cables or something. They're not. Yeah, and that's actually quite surprising to me. Well, I told you already, the only reason I know is because I've seen it. And I was a little bit more confused than you. I was like, what? Yeah. And as far as that previous video where I was talking about what the origination of this soliloquist dissertation comes from, from me watching What Up. What's up? It'll stop those birds from frying themselves as well. Mm hmm. And in addition to that, it'll be more uh, EM field resistant because lightning strikes just won't be able to get to it that easily. And in the highly unlikely event that someone decides, oh, I'm going to detonate a, a cold bringer nuclear weapon in the atmosphere and wipe out all your infrastructure electrically, it would make it far more resistant to that as well. That also Just make it more resistant to the sun, for that matter. Well, there are not a lot of people. Oh know yeah, it. the, sun the, does the EM quite radiation from the sun that really fucks with electronics. It produces all sorts of radio wavelength emissions and EM bandwidth emissions. Yeah, it yes. really fucks with electronics. Yeah, it'll make it far I, more stable. Power outages will become an extremely rare occurrence. A lot of people don't know that the sun does that, but it does. I mean, it's not something that a lot of people, including myself, think about constantly because houses and being inside and not having it constantly on my skin. Yeah, but when you think about it logically, you're like, well, shit, that is a thing, like you just did. Yeah. <clears throat> Something that we didn't discuss beforehand, but Joe realized and pointed out just now. Yep. Now I'm sitting here doing a big pink. Big old pinky tea. And the absolute largest problem currently that we both are thinking about is actually getting it done. That it would require massive amounts of 
cooperation and collaboration and planning from everyone. We would have to turn into ants, guys. We have to work together. Not literally. <laughs> On a metaphorical state. We would have state. to work together the way ants do. In a social and economic and uh, industrious infrastructural ideology. We would have to work together like ants do. Each ant is equally as skilled as every other job that every other ant does, except for being the queen, because the queen But the point is, they work together. They just get shit done because it needs to be done. And we need to do the same damn thing. We need to work together to get things done. They need to be done. That's true. Because it would benefit everyone holistically instead of just a few people. I just realized while I was looking through a few things I, I wrote down, um, I wrote down a Robin Williams quote. I didn't ever think I'd ever have to say, but it's a funny one at that. Gagging a penis relevant? in a brain, but only enough blood to run one at a time. Yeah, it's pretty relevant. I'd say. As I yeah. just said it. That, that is extremely relevant. And speaking of that quote, I watched the video from his performance. Just, you know, a few minutes before you invited me into a party. <gasps> Magic. I know. So it's anyway. Yeah. I miss him. Getting everyone to work together is gonna be I a problem. <laughs> I see it as simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, first thing, planning it all out. Me and Joe are talking it out coming up with problems and solutions simultaneously, going back and forth. We're think tanking it. Planning the logistics out for what to do. The next step is just getting everyone to talk about it and spread the awareness. And then after that, developing a plan. Because Hey, I've got this idea. It's a decent idea. But I don't know the region in which other people live as well as they do, so they would be far more qualified to provide valid input and feedback and planning because they know the region better than I do. Such as... Pick a fucking place. Uh, in New York... But they would know how better to implement this than I would in their area, even though me and Joe have already went through a possible scenario. Yep. My idea was there's a system that I think is a prototype system of tunneling under buildings without compromising their structural integrity or their foundation that allows you to put in modular segmented support segments while you're tunneling through so that this type of system could be implemented and in certain cases existing infrastructure could be used to run the electrical power and water and gas lines <clears throat> And at that point, under a building, all you need is the appropriate drill, and they have them already, that drill through concrete and cement without compromising the structural integrity. <clears throat> Me too. And then, rolling it out... My idea was plan it years in advance, 
get your uh, contributors and volunteers on standby and scheduled years in advance and <clears throat> your local um, jobs plan the uh, time off needed in order to remove the roads put in the system put the roads back on top and then run the lines and cabling through it through those access points I talked about earlier. <clears throat> that way, you get the infrastructure set up quickly. Well, not very quickly, but reasonably quickly without disrupting everything totally. And you have everyone plan for it just in case it takes longer than expected. That way, Everyone's like, okay, we're ready. We've got our uh, vacation days set up. We've got our uh, contributions scheduled and planned. We're ready to do this. And then you just do it. Section at a time. Not all at once, because you don't need to shut the entire continent down. But, like, one region in a state at a time. Exactly. Boy, getting it all set up and think tanked <clears throat> and planned out. Not just me yapping about it in a video, but getting people like Mr. Beast to yap about it. Mr. He's been doing things, planting trees. Why not make it even more of a contribution and start with talking about this idea? workshopping it and getting everyone else's ideas and seeing which ones are the best for the situation at hand in the region that they're in and working with it that way. I'm going to be honest, I'm a big fan of this AI art situation. Yeah, it's really nice, but Google deplatformed a um, an art generating app and then the company they went with as a backup plan to run their uh, financial transactions said okay fuck you we're banning you so essentially they got murdered their app got murdered that's stinky I'm saying like for what I was using it for I actually enjoyed it I, I just uh, used it for concept art. I just used it for porn. Most people do, buddy. You're not the only one in the world. I used it for concept art because I'm an artist, so I like to have a little bit of concept art here and there. Like a giraffe on skates? <clears throat> okay, yeah, well, not maybe not that, but... Just, yeah, that's, a, that's an example for sure. Not what I was going for, but I like it. Giraffe on skates. Now, now that gives me it's an not idea. a new idea, Joe. I've pitched it to you before. Listen, and I to you. got it from the television show by what was it, Nickelodeon, or some such. I forgot the actual company. Elton show the relic has been cracked open look was or not el tigre that was the show want to know the character specifically jimmy fucking neutron he's not even in that tv show <laughs> monkey frida the, the character was frida she's the one frida? who had the idea to steal a giraffe from the zoo teach it to roller skate no, it's really not a bad idea. I feel like they could. I mean, when they're born, they drop like 15 feet. So, falling in a 
repair roller skates is not a big deal you know? That's not really what I was thinking, but alright. I was just thinking, I mean, they're pretty steady on their feet. I don't know why the hell you thought I thought that, but... Yeah, but I've never experienced roller skates before, dude. You probably haven't either. What do you mean? I have, and I fell flat on my ass. Multiple times. Yeah, and you probably got right back up, giggled a little bit, farted. No, I didn't giggle. That shit's painful. Listen, okay? I'm listening. It sucks to fall down, but when you get right back up again... I fall down, I get up again, take a big shit. That's not the song. I know. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of words, but they're not making sense to me. <laughs> How about that word? Nope. It was a statement, if I wish to say. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh yeah, another person I pointed out to you, Joe. Steve Mould. I thought you were going He's to He's another feller on YouTube. He does critical thinking exercises. Really well, too. Ow. My ass. You know who's not doing critical thinking right now? Me. It's hot. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before you petered out. Me, Curtis, exactly. So anyway, yeah, getting all this stuff planned, getting everybody to talk about it, and spread the awareness, and then plan it, and think tank it, and then getting the, the state senators and everyone involved, and planning out all the details of where we're going to shut down when it's needed, if it's needed, and how we're going to go about getting a conduit put in under the road. And once it's there, it'll support the road too, once it's done properly. And the road will need less maintenance because of potholes, because there won't be potholes. Exactly! And it almost completely weatherproofs the communications and electrical grid. Let me tell you what else! There's chicken! Chicken? What am I doing with this? I don't know what else, so I'm gonna be honest. You run out of critical thinking juice because you're overheating uh yeah yeah I have really it's, I've uh, run out of excess stuff to put into it right now even though yeah. I've been thinking about it for a couple of months at least uh, I, I've run out of things mostly because of the heat I'm usually oh, yeah. chuck full of ideas. One other thing I said. I remember now. It would be extremely difficult, almost improbable, to put it in Louisiana because it's below sea level. And people there just need to get the fuck out of that area. Because it's, it's absurd to live in a fucking fishbowl that's going to flood seasonally. It's fucking absurd. It's absurd Same to be in a fishbowl in, in general. Yeah. But cats do it. I've seen videos of them doing it. So You don't yeah. even need a video, dude. I'm here to tell you. They do do it. Do do. They do do. <laughs> anyway, that's absurd. And living in, on the Andreas Fault Line. That's fucking absurd. Get the fuck out of that area of California. Live in Get a better area that's more geologically stable. 
Exactly. Why you stay in an area that's not stable, that constantly ruins your home with geological instability and earthquakes, or seasonal fucking overflooding because it's below sea level? That's fucking retardedly stupid. And I do not want, personally, do not want to put this system that I'm workshopping into such an area because it's high risk and people shouldn't live there to begin with because it's not conducive to their well-being to begin with you do know it's some illogical. people also you gotta keep in mind some people can't move it, yeah due to and money. they're gonna have to deal with having shoddy infrastructure as a consequence of their inability to get into a better area and the people who are stubborn and choose to stay there, they're going to have to deal with the same consequence of their electrical system being at risk every season. They're just going to have to deal with it. There's no other way around it. If they can't move or they refuse to, that there's nothing else to be done. Except say, sorry dude, we can't help you now. I mean, yeah, even man. if Mr. Beast were to fucking do a fundraiser to help these people relocate, there's still gonna be the stubborn ones who don't want to move at all. That's uh, true. And, yeah, they're just gonna have to deal with the cards they chose. I keep using Mr. Beast as an example because he's doing all these um, philanthropologically inclined like the the trees a couple of years ago and the giveaways tree, uh, yeah we call him and I'll say it again tree man what? we were gonna call him the Lorax but now it's a tree man why not the Lorax was it copyright issues no I'm the Lorax no you're not you're death and no. formerly Satan Nope. Just the Lorax. Here I am. I fucked the tree or not. Look, no one besides me needs to know, because I already know, and that's why I'm excluded. No one besides me needs to know this. No one needs to know about you fucking trees, dude. Don't, just don't. Please. But For I'm the Lorax! everyone's sanity. That's besides the point. I don't need, I don't need this type of shenanigans, dude. I'm calling shenanigans. <clears throat> you are shenan again. Yes, I am Shazam. Shazam? Again. Sure, why not? If you're the Lorax, I'm gonna be Shazam. You know what? Whatever, dude. I want to be- Black Adam's already the rock. He's Black Adam. I'm just, I'm going to be fucking Shazam. I'm not a big fan of Rock Johnson. What about Cave Johnson? Sure, in Cave Johnson. Isn't he the guy who, uh, made Portal? Come on, buddy, you'll get there. He made Portal, what do you mean I'm going to get there? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Also, before he made Portal, he was also making shower rings. That's right. Shower curtains? Yeah. Shower curtain rings, actually. Just the rings, not the curtains? Yeah, just the rings, seriously. Okay. How do I know? Because I know! You play the game a lot of times and listen to dialogue where he literally says that. That too. I think that primarily. So, there's other things probably. Can I probably them? means no. that you're unsure of them being other things and you're just pulling words out of your ass. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're pulling words out of your ass. Password. No, That's right. they stink of 
fire and brimstone and weed. They're specifically from your ass. Never. Yes, always. Oh god. Ow. Yeah. Never mind, I feel okay. I I had a issue with my jaw. Pop it, I'm okay. Melted that motherfucker in seconds. Ooh. Well, technically I didn't melt him because melting takes a little bit longer than seconds. Technically, I would say that my Kuva Nucor either disintegrated. Yes, my cootie goo. Either disintegrated or subliminated him. Why not both? Because they're synonyms and it's just a matter of grammatical reference to which one you like your instead of the other. Synonym, basically. Ambiguity. That's not a word. All words are made up, so nope. you, know, you could make that into a word. Could. I'm a gunner. Nope. <laughs> Heaven doesn't actually exist, but they made up a word for it. Is it being stupid? No. Damn it! Googleplex is a word. Googleplex it was made up more recently. Word. Yeah, Googleplex. It it's literally just a means. Yeah, a massively fucking huge number. I, I forget already how many know zeros are in it. 64 billion. I'm gonna take your word for that. I might be wrong. I'm just guessing. You said Ow, what the hell hit me? That the word is Googleplex. So I'm only imagining it's like 64 billion. I mean, that's like... 64 billion place values. Massive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I only guess that because that makes sense enough to guess that. So anyway, now I've cut out extra work for myself to harass Steve Mold and, and Steve Mr. Jobs Beast with oh. a link to this video. Not Steve Jobs. Damn it, Joe! You want to get Steve Jobs involved? You post a copy of the link to this video for him. He's dead. What do you mean? Fine. Get goddamn uh, fucking what's his name? Fucking owner of Micro's Hard. Bill Gates. The other guy, Bill Gates. Yeah, you've talked to him before. You get him. You get him. Maybe instead of making fake vaccines that don't work worth shit, he can actually contribute to something meaningful and increase the quality of the internet with this infrastructure idea. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find out. It's a game theory. If it's, yeah, we'll find out if it's game theory. Now, we'll find out if anything like this works. And I'm watching Jerry rig everything. Think he'll spread the word? Doubtful, I don't think. He jerry rigs everything, as the name implies. Well, he could provide a unique contribution of his own experience and ideas. Well, his experience is phones and other types of things. But he investigates the structural integrity of those phones. It Most of the time, yeah. <clears throat> At scale, that can be applied to what we're talking about. But it depends Dude, on the scale you're talking he, about. He's checking out this phone here that's fully made out of metal. That's pretty cool. I would like to have one of those. <laughs> Me too, that's fucking cool. I wouldn't have never thought that shit. Vera. 
Whoa. We has discussed the idea and workshopped it live on stream recording to be plastered onto my locals and YouTube and Patreon. Of course, it's going to be for whoever the fuck wants to view it on Patreon without being a member. Yeah, it, it's, it's an enticing hook. Yeah, I'm, I'm going fishing for people's support. That's what I'm doing. People's support? People's support. Why not people's ports? Haha. -ha. Because I have my own IP. Not those Not ports. intellectual property, but internet provider ports? Not those ports, you genius. Are you talking about fleshy ports? They're fleshy ports. Wow, it's... Dude, I'm impressed with this phone is working out. Yeah, maybe. But we'll get to that bridge and fuck it when it arrives. I'm impressed with this phone for a multitude of reasons, but this first one's gonna blow your fucking mind. It's a new phone that has a headphone jack. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh yeah, that does blow my mind. <laughs> but that's not even the craziest part. The back of the phone is actually easily removable. <gasps> you can replace the battery? Yeah! Holy shit, that is mind-blowing! Exactly. It's a divergence from the company norms that are fucking things over! I was like, what? Who made I'm... that phone? What company designed it and put it out? I don't know. Well, look in the description of his video. He's probably got it posted. This is... Hold on, I would have to get my phone to look at that. Imagine. Ow. <laughs> Stop yanking me around. But I'm, I'm taking a gander. I'm impressed with this phone, dude. The fact that... It... Literally has a removable battery that you could remove and all what and replace phone? and replace if you need to. User serviceable, very fucking good for company. Jerry very Rig. fucking good. Jerry Rig, I need to know what kind of phone this is. You well, it's called the CMF Phone One. CMF Phone 1. That's what it's called. Okay. What company puts it out? CMF, I'm imagining. Well, props and credit where props and credit is due to the CMF Phone. People who designed it and put it out. That is I, fucking awesome. Yeah, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, of all the phones, I'd actually want one of these. Yeah, me too. And I can't afford to do a trade-in for it right now. Let's see. I'm gonna see how much this motherfucker is. It's about a thousand. Steam of phone is two hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Oh wow! I thought it yeah. was gonna be a thousand. Yeah, it says uh, two hundred. Pleasantly wrong, a, dude. It's a new phone. What? Yeah, usually that'd be a few thousand for a new phone. That's crazy. What the fuck, dude? It's a CMF Phone 1, 8 plus 256 gigabyte. That's that's wild, dude. What the fuck? It's unlocked. Uh, has a 50 megapixel rear camera. Okay. Pretty good. The human eye can't see anything above 10 megapixels at its absolute best, but okay. Still, still, I'm just saying what it's saying. I, I'm, dude, that's so cool though. I'm about this. I like this. And it's fucking, it's a budget phone. That's pretty cheap, dude. The fact that they can make a phone like this. And Apple can't even make a phone that does anything good? Really? 
Finish your mission yeah. and take a look inside. <laughs> now, here, here's the here's yeah. the here's the question I have be wondering. So it comes with it, you can get earbuds that come with it. I don't know how much they are alone because usually with high price stuff comes high price earbuds. I have thirty nine dollars. What? Are they wired or wireless? Wireless. I do not do wireless. Noise canceling wireless earbuds for thirty nine dollars. Guess there's a first for everything. What's the usual going rate for a wireless set of earbuds? Is it a noise canceling? I have what, like 60, 70? No, that's like a hundred or something. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm in. Like this, is, dude. The fuck? This is crazy. <clears throat> All right, that I've. You know what? I, I'll probably am not gonna be buying it anytime soon. But at least I added it to my cart. That's a pretty good amount of. It's wish listed. Exactly. Well, everybody. Yeah, certified probably. insane genius. Exactly. I'm just damn, dude. I'm just surprised, man. I have not seen any phones that do this, and that are cheap, for that matter. Usually, cheap phones, I'd probably be able to snap in my hands. If this one's made out of metal, I don't know if I'll be able to snap it in my hands. Dude, the get phone. A bit of bending, though. The phone I have currently, I could snap this motherfucker in my hands, dude. Hmm. Will I? No, it's the only phone I've got. Another thing I was thinking about is making decent products that actually last a long time and are user serviceable. Make I mean, them like, as ordered, and then ship them when they're in bulk enough quantities to actually be shipped. You mean like everyone good controllers? Patient. Yeah. Like what were we talking about earlier? Everyone good controllers. Patient and wait for them to arrive. Good controllers, good headsets. Because my God, apparently headsets are stupidly easily broken. Yeah, I've had mine for about 10 years before they finally started crapping out. Bro, I... It, this is what's stupid of me. I could just set my headset down. Just set it down. On a bed. Where it's safe. And it'll be broken. Whenever I get out of the bathroom. What? And there's I, some crazy shit going on there. That's fucking ridiculous. That should not be the case. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, that's what it is. And whoever disagrees with me is stupid. If a fucking controller or a headset breaks from you setting it on your bed and going to the bathroom and you come back in and it's broke, it doesn't work? Come on, really? Dude, your house is hainted. That's probably not why it broke. It was just a piece of shit headset. I got it for like twenty, twenty dollars or something like that. Oh well, there's your problem right there, dude. <laughs> what a yeah, cheap well, piece I'm of also, shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm also not, <laughs> you know, buying thousands of dollars worth of fucking headsets for no reason. Mine didn't cost that much. Well, they probably do now, but they didn't back when I got them. Point I'm making is I'm not spending a ridiculous amount of money on headsets for them to fucking break because companies don't know how to make a good pair of headsets. 
Yeah, good point. I've seen, uh, let's see, Razor had a model that was made out of high-grade aluminum. But the problem is they had a really shoddy earmuff design. And that's the part that broke on my Razor. My Corsair, the, the detachable microphone is the fail point. And that's what causes all the fuzzy crackling noises and static. A lot of crackling. And the plastic connection points. The headset I'm currently wearing, dude. I'm surprised I've had it for as long as I have. But it works. The fuckers always get stuck right there. It works pretty well. And it's one of those $20 headsets. It's one of the ones that, like, uh, it's the Turtle Beach $20 headset. Ugh. And I'm not willing to pay 70 80 to 100 fucking dollars or more for a headset. I just, that's ridiculous. It should, headsets, <laughs> headsets should not be that much money. Unless they are sucking my damn dick, they shouldn't be that much money. Careful, dude. There's this thing called Lovins, and it actually does do that. Good! And it's way more, more, more than 80 about... bucks. Look, man, T-Pain is telling me about fucking White Claw, so I don't care. White Claw? The worst. What's White Claw? It's a drink. It's an alcoholic drink. It's an IPA. It's piss and I can. Best way to put it. Oh. Well, that would explain it. I don't drink piss in a can. Nor do I. It's just an ad that I get because, you know, America. We are living in America. That is one content kitty. But yeah, no, I'm I'm realizing, man. It stinks because I would like to have a good headset for sure. If you think that this fucking bitch ass headset I've got is good, no, you're stupid. This bullshit ass headset I have is a piece of garbage. I agree. Turtle beaches are turtle bitches. And even though it works perfectly fucking fine. I can hear out of it, you can hear me, blah blah blue blue blue. I do have my issues with it on occasion, like sometimes whenever you join a party, you can't hear me it's for not a minute. Working. Yeah, it's it's like ha nah. So I have to unplug it, plug it back in, unplug my controller, plug it back in. Yeah. That should never be the case. Yeah, I've had those problems. And I know what they're like. So, yeah, no. This headset is garbage. And as well as She's that, gone. I mean, because I'm an audiophile, I love audio stuff. No, nope, wait, there she is. I stuck a jade in the wall of flesh, which I named. Nice. But yeah, I am a. If you didn't know, I'm an audiophile. Yes, I'm an audiophile. Boundary items ready to claim, operator. Okay. Listen to this. Beating bop, see? Audiophile. Don't mention it. Project complete. <sighs> Boundary items can be claimed. Not operator. relative to the word you spoke and its connected meaning implied. Exactly. Any who's too boozy. Um, uh, I, I, since I am an audiophile, you could imagine this headset sounds like complete shit sex. It's not just the sound quality of the turtle bitch that's shit. It's the construction quality as well. Yeah, plastic. You're telling me. 
It literally, like, one of the ear cups literally broke. I didn't do shit, by the way. It just decided to break. Not just plastic. Certain Any types plastic. of plastic can be efficient and last quite a long while, but, yeah, shit plastic. This, this, this one is not that plastic. No, it's cheap-ass shit plastic. Legos are made of better plastic than a turtle bitch. Dude, my shit has better plastic in it. What do you mean? The Mariana Trench has better plastic in it if you want to go Michael after. Jackson's nose had better plastic. Oh uh, no. Let's let's just not the 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 Barbie slash Ken doll is no. Just just no. It's true just and you leave, know it. Leave Michael alone. Leave him alone. I get it. He's dead, but it's the truth. Wait, would he enjoy? Well, technically, would he, she enjoy <laughs> this joke that we're constructing? I would hope. <laughs> out of, <laughs> out of Schlim's plastic nose. <laughs> Schlim show. <laughs> you <Evo. laughs> Would she? Yeah, Evo would love it. <laughs> On a legit note, though. Yeah. Man, plastic. I know, right? We need it's so to pervasive out. and everywhere that they're finding it in the bottom of the Mariana's Trench, which is why Somehow the does. next video we should do a brain dancing. Jack into the Matrix style uh, think tank on is proper recycling. Yes. We need proper recycling up until we get the Z Zergs from the cat game. Stray? Stray. I call it the when cat game. When you said game, Zerg, you... I thought fucking uh, uh, Warcraft. Oh, okay, Warcraft. I thought you were... Not World of Warcraft. What's that other game? Oh no, I thought you were talking about Zerg from the planet Percy I Hate or whatever. That's not the Zerg. Oh, well, that's what his name was. Starcraft. I am Zerg. Zerg with a G. Zer, Z U R, is Buzz Lightyear's father. Oh, never mind. Anyway, still, you know what I mean. No, I really don't anymore. Plastic. Terrible. Learn how to make it better. Yeah, stop using plastic for water bottles and shit. And let, let's save this for another video another time. Right now, let's just spam different people with the uh, link to this video and get the ball rolling on spreading the word and then getting the plan set up years in advance and everyone's contributions whether it's actually grabbing a shovel and helping dig or simply contributing money to you know get it going and crowdfunding it. And then let's get it going. Get it popping. Yeah. Well, that, that'll be the end of this stream recording that's going to go up to multiple sites. Hell yeah. So, in addition to me saying all the things that I just said, go to my Patreon and throw money at me, because I'm your favorite idiot. Yeah. And and I literally do need the fucking money. My family's gonna be losing their our, our fucking home, and Joe's losing his fucking home, and shit fucking sucks for me and my friends. And I want to fucking help them. But I don't have the resources to do so. So, all of you, the viewers. You, the people. You, 
Yeah, you, the people, would you, would you lend me a fallacy credit in these trying times? And in return, you will make would, would you care for a stug in these trying times? <laughs> That's either a trip, a trib or a sabuchi joke. <laughs> oh man, it could be both. Yeah, one of them ran the star chart with only a stug. <laughs> and the other one ran it with nothing. Yeah, and then one of them ran it with nothing but jumping on top of enemy heads with their feet. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, till whenever I come out with another video, say goodnight, Tracy. Tracy, goodnight. Close enough for me.